precaution of measurements of security of the achievements and stuff. What does the R mean exactly? I, I know the CP is like. Wait, oh, no, 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 R is the copyright look. Oh, what the f whatever. I thought it was trademark. No, trademark is TM. What am I thinking? Yeah. Ah! Okay, anyway, so, uh, back to, on to the Let's Play. Welcome back to the Kingdom Hearts Birth by Su. Whoa, this is a new option. Did it happen because I beat the game? Oh, yeah, I think it's because I beat the game. Alright, whatever. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna be continuing on forward to the, uh,. Yeah, check that okay. <laughs> Saving the data on the system, okay. Uh, we're gonna be continuing on through the Let's Play of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Last time we left off, we've been Titus's... What the fuck was that kid's name again? <laughs> uh, uh, that kid's name. Uh, the guy in the middle. <laughs> and, uh, we're on our way to, uh, beat Ventus, that's his name. Uh, we're on to where to play either Terra or Aqua. I think uh, uh, Terra is probably a bit better option because... Uh, Aqua is, um, I don't know, from, I remember from while I last played, I didn't like Aqua's story so far, so maybe I'll just save the worst for last or something, yeah, that's probably a bad idea. But at the same time, canonically, it probably makes sense to play as Terra, because he takes place first in the timeline or something, even though it's all jumbled, messed up, and such. Because, like, some timelines, they appear first, and then in other times they appear last. When the, f what the fuck did happen last night, anyways? Or, not last night, last time I... Record this game. Uh, Castle Dreams, apparently I finished that. Finished Mysterious Tower, so that was the last area I went. Land of Departure? It's just treasure, and the combat level is only like one, so I doubt that I have to go there. It's probably just like a side quest, like the Little Mermaid or something. I don't even know where the- Oh no, no, that's the area where we, uh... Where we, uh, yeah. Mirage Arena, that doesn't even have anything significant. Enchanted Dominion, that's some other place, and... Isn't this the final area? What the hell are we doing there? I think we're, I, I think we're purposely supposed to be there, so that there's like some sort of cutscenes. Alright, let's visit the world, whatever. <laughs> and I forgot to set a timer. Hold on, where'd, where'd my phone go, actually? Oh, shit. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> fine. Oh, there it is. Found it. There we go, okay. Uh, I'm also going to have to try and remember how to play exactly like Terra again. Uh, I know he's way different than all the other two characters, so he, he's a lot more about Bruce's strength. I know all about the things you've done. I just don't understand why. Someone had to safeguard the light from the demon I unleashed. You must know about the boy by now. The one in the mask. Uh... His name is Vanitas. Oh yeah, that guy. A creature of pure darkness. One of my making. Vanitas? Are you telling me he came from you? He came from Ventus. <laughs> Ventus? Yes. Vanitas is the darkness that was inside your friend. It was an accident. While training with me, Ventus succumbed to darkness, and there was but one way to save him. Strip that part of him away, and thus Ventus was made. In the process, I damaged Ventus's heart in the most horrific way. So, I did what I felt was right and left him with Ericus. I knew the boy could not stay with me, the man who did him such grievous harm. I'm sorry, I'm probably gonna need to rewatch all the other Let's Plays in order to catch up on the story, because I have no fucking clue what's going on. Uh, this is what I get for replaying the game after, like, what, three months of finishing the game. Actually, it was like summer that I finished Vince's story, and I'm in the middle of fucking September right now, trying to catch up. Uh. So that's what it was. Uh, or then again, this guy could be making a bullshit because he's a villain of the story and he's just pretending that that happened or whatever and yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go with that option instead, <laughs> instead of believing whatever the fuck he said. 
Is this a cutscene we've seen before? I don't know. I don't remember. So maybe it's a good idea to recapture it regardless. Even if I don't really care, honestly. Huh. Normally I wouldn't record in such a hot day, but oh my god, I really need to catch up on schedule. I've been... Honestly, I've been really slacking off a lot during the Let's Play department, and it may not seem like that much because I actually do upload a lot uh, once per day, and you could actually tell that I've been um, I'll go see. pretty much like recording. But like, if you see the time of the day, knowing I'm probably if you know uh, what time I'm recording this is probably oh, like what October right now oh, or something, or even past Halloween by the time I upload this specific video. But I always pre-record all my Let's Plays beforehand. And yeah. Aqua, come here. <laughs> so all all my let's plays are pre-recorded. If you guys do not know yet, which surprisingly some people Hi, still don't, I'm even Aqua. though uh, I don't know. I don't know how to like make it so that it's a lot more clear. Sorry, that aside from saying that? recording date Where are you from? on the top right hand corner, do people just not Who pay attention to that or not? It's like uh, you good with a keyblade? <laughs> anyways, uh. Whoa! What's the matter? Are you okay? My Shatner oppression is coming do? out. Nothing. Or was it Shatner? Was it Shatner or was it? I just asked him some stuff. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm trying to remember that I one guy from like that one Shyamalan movie, movie that had like because he was a very well-known actor movie. until he became that actor in that Shyamalan movie, and it's like, what? No. It was like, oh wow, you're really not trying or something. Uh, the acting, I have to admit, is always like usually subpar, especially when it comes to like the Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy characters. Master, why is Venita still free? Ah, yes. Now, yeah, what do I know? It was a PSP high res game anyway, so I probably didn't put much effort into it. I managed to escape. Uh, I swear, every little bit of criticism I give to this game, Venita someone's gonna the keyblade to pass a pissy fit or something. Uh, oh my god, okay, I need to align this. Guys, if I see me in face cam right now, I would need to align this headset to the microphone somehow, probably. No control I'm trying my best. His heart. The keyblade is not his to bear. He's an abomination beyond hope of salvation. Are we talking about Venitas or Vantis? Right is wrong that I have wrought. But I have no idea where to find him. What I can tell you about Vanitas amounts to this. Okay, it's Vanitas. The darkness is drawn to the light which he seeks to disrupt and then destroy. Can I just like walk, look up one of those like this game story in like five minutes? Whoa, this is like way in the future of the game. Is this game like spoiling what's gonna happen in the future or what? Or some sort of like pre-hint destiny or something like that. I usually hate it when games like, or movies and games in general, any Don't fictional worry, media Master. does I'll that. And unless it's like taking this. place in real life, which is pretty obvious, like, oh no, spoilers, John F. Kennedy died. Like, it's kind of it's kind of easy to expect that because you're writing an autobiography, not some sort of fictional tale. Uh, but yeah, in, in, in those in those certain situations, I always like to be shocked when um, the reveal happens. I hate it when it's like, like I guess when it's hinted like very vaguely or hinted like very well done, that's perfectly fine. But when it comes to like, is this the place where I'm supposed to go? When it comes to like air like stuff where it's just they just show it off, it's like oh that's gonna happen. Thanks for removing the suspense. When it comes to that, then it's like what's the point? Of showing off the big reveal if you just revealed it beforehand. Uh, anyway, so this is supposed to happen after uh, Ventus's story hmm. or Aqua story. I don't even fucking know anymore. Uh, whatever the case is, um, we're at this area again, and I believe this is like one the area which has like one of the easiest boss battles, Reversed. at least when it comes to, in terms of like Ventus's story. Or was right. Alright. Alright, let's recuperate and try to remember all the controls. Keyword being try. I should really use the PS4 controller. I'm not sure I'm still using the PS3 controller, actually. Oh, whatever. Um, actually, no, it's probably smart for me to use the PS3 controller because I actually could go to the home button if I want to. And let me get it. Okay, there we go. Alright. Right trigger, sorry, right bumper is a uh, target. That's dash dance. Oh, sorry, not dash dance, I'm um, just dodge roll. And once again, the 
Oh, look, the, some of the black bars area are like blocked from my screen, and for your screen, you can just probably see it. I can't. Uh. It's not that big of a deal. I don't think I really need to fix it that much. Oh, oh right! There's also um f finishing moves as well. Alright. Confusion Strike. Let's try. What's that thing again? Uh, well, it doesn't seem to cause confusion. It's not hurting itself or anything. Dang, I killed it beforehand. Fire! I'm not sure if he has a good, uh, what do I call it? Spell maneuvers? We can always try, though. Oh, wow, I missed on that one. Get back here! Are these guys even fighting? I am on the proud difficulty, aren't I? Um, I don't need a cure just yet. Oh, shit. Let me just fire you, actually. Alright, so far so good. I wish they were giving me some basic enemies before I trained up. Alright. Oh, no, no, not these fat asses again. Okay. Yeah, I remember these guys are annoying as shit, so they're deflating. Oh, crap, 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 crap. He's gonna explode, aren't they, isn't he? Yep. Avoid. What's this? Oh, my God. What's this dark thing on my... What the hell? Uh, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> I'm guessing something just pulled on us. Oh, there's a hourglass. So how do I switch the? There. Okay. There's an hourglass, so that has to do something. I'm guessing. There we go. Okay. That guy was probably doing some magic voodoo on me, and I didn't notice. Fire that. Uh, he's actually gonna explode no matter what. So it doesn't seem like. Yeah. Even if I do any further damage, it's just gonna keep rolling away. And explode in three, two, one. Okay. You're our next! Thunder! Ow! Okay, uh, let me, uh, cure. Uh, cure's not gonna be good enough. I'm gonna need to, like, combine two cures somehow. Oh my god. I gotta know that he's a really close range fighter. Alright. Oh my god, don't go close towards him. Okay. These guys, they're probably a lot easier to deal with, right? Yeah, it just takes three swipes to kill them. Oh my god, the fat asses are still there. Alright, so, wait, hold on. Let me just wait until the cure is done. And... There we go. Not full life, but good enough, I guess. Oh. A confusion strike and a uh, simple blast is good enough as well. I keep forgetting, Lap Bumper also switches targets. I gotta start remembering that because... I don't know why, I'm so, I'm so used to like, when it comes to like the quintessential Kingdom Hearts game control scheme to remember, I always think of two. And in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, you can't switch them um, so simple like that. You always have to like, kind of like, back out and then target something else and pray that it's uh... Oh shit! Pray that um, the uh, opponent you're dealing with is the one you're targeting. Alright. That was a little bit too close for comfort. Uh, still fat? Okay. Uh, there we go. Uh, of course, it depends on whether or not I'm near it or not. Oh shit! There we go. Alright, just one more to deal with. Just wait for that thing to explode. Yeah, I'm always like a patient type of guy. Waiting for the safe bed, usually. I know, like, in the previous gameplays, when I, uh, whenever it's something to me, usually when I'm the most impatient, I always try to rush things. I feel like, um, as long as I have, like, a lax and clear mind, I could properly assess and defeat the opponents properly without having to deal with unnecessary, um, damage. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. See, I should feel like I should probably Which have that... Here. More of that mindset... Maybe he found something out. ...than just going guns a-blazing sometimes. I mean, I'm a, I'm a fucking Metal Gear fan, of course. I have to, like, know that's usually the way to go. To be undetected and get the job done rather than to cause more calamity. Anyways, Radiant Garden! We're, uh, okay, I'm trying to remember what the fuck this place was. Is this Sleeping Beauty? Because we've been through Cinderella, and Sleeping Beauty was the one- No, no, that's- No, no, wait, no, we did that in Aqua Story, never mind. I don't even remember what the hell happened in Sleeping Beauty's land. Uh, this is what I get for not watching a whole lot of Disney movies. Actually, no, I've been recently watching a lot of Disney movies with my uh, girl. <laughs> I was about to say GF as if it's like some sort of like code It's like, no, my girlfriend and I have been watching a lot of Disney movies recently. Just because she's been complaining about, oh, how I don't know a lot of Disney movies, so I've been kind of catching up. I'll be honest, I kind of hate some of them. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say I hate all of them. I absolutely love uh, Aladdin. 
Why Mostly because of Robin Williams' performances. Oh, what? Exactly. What's going on here? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I forgot I didn't read the subtitles in time and my I, my headphones were not on. <laughs> Anyways, there's a book. Um, alright. Really the, okay, there's more Excuse continue. me, Your Elderness. Huh? Elderness, is that a I proper... I dropped this book. We need Did the... I? Poo. Hmm, never heard of it. Clearly, it's some sort of... I'm very sad to say this isn't one of mine, but what a remarkable book it is. This unassuming volume seems to have the unusual effect of awakening one's innermost abilities. A book that makes people stronger? Okay. If it's all right, Your Elderness, might I have Should a I? Look? Should I use this book then? If, this, if that's the case, then maybe it actually gives me some sort of motivation to go into Winnie the Pooh's land so that I can have like more power to myself or something and beef up and get stronger. But at the same time, considering how Ventus's storyline was pretty easy, even on Prowl mode, I'm not sure if this is going to be the same or not. I need to remember if I had a lot of... I know I had a lot of difficulties with Aqua Story, but I'm not sure, exactly sure with... Uh, uh, what's this fucker's name again? Ven... No, no, no. Shit, I forgot his name. Whatever. Uh, let's examine. Yeah, I'm not sure if this guy's storyline, the one with the big broody uh, shoulders and the spiky Zack's hair. Wait, no. Is it? His name's Zack? No, his name is Squall. Or is it... No, wait, what? Oh. Fuck! It's been a while since I last played a lot of Kingdom Hearts game that I usually don't like as a kid. Uh, maybe I should replay some of them to see if I still have the same opinion or not. Uh, unlock the command board. I mean, for now, I guess I'll say I don't like it, but it's mostly because as a kid, I never really enjoyed uh, Final Fantasy games. And then again, Final Fantasy Thirteen is a legitimate bad game, man. Even as an adult, I could even easily see why it's bad. Um, God, I, I pretty much know that there's probably going to be a Final Fantasy XIII representative in um, Kingdom Hearts 3. Which I'm kind of looking forward to, but at the same time, it's like... I'm only looking forward to its gameplay. Like, fuck the story. Uh, I probably said this way too many times than I should. And then again, not a lot of people are, like, telling me about it. Usually when it deals with people giving me criticisms, I always take, take that into account. And whenever that happens, I have to make sure it's actually legit criticism or if it's just spouting bullshit up their asses. That's something I absolutely do not like when it comes to, like video content making. This is a weird thing to say, but I absolutely despise positive feedback. Like, as like, okay, that's cool. I mean, I don't necessarily, like, hugely despise it. Like, oh, I hate, I hate it when these goody two-shoes, like, talk. No, I, I definitely welcome all positive feedback without a doubt. It's just that when you see, like, so many of them, like, over and over and over again, it's like, okay, that's cool that you guys enjoy my videos. It's just, is there any way I can make them any better? Like, I always have an open mindset when it comes to, like, I need to somehow make my videos better. Otherwise, it'll just be like, okay. I get. I was like, if I if I'm if I keep getting like positive feedback, I'm not gonna learn from any anything. It's like, oh, this positivity. That means I should keep doing it and doing it and doing it. And I feel like if I keep doing that, then it's just it's just gonna get really stale, which is really bad for me. And as a and eventually like my subscribers and people that absolutely want to watch my video, they'll probably get tired of it as well. It's like, oh, okay, this guy's doing the same thing over and over and over again. But I can't really do that if I'm not getting giving the appropriate criticism that I'm taking. <laughs> so I always welcome, especially when it comes to like ne negative feedback, just that it depends on what type of negative feedback it is. So yeah, please trash talk me more, guys. It'll be a lot, it'll be a lot more uh, interesting and fun for the ride. Not necessarily like things like, oh, get a live suck faggot or whatever like that. No, just actual like criticisms that I can actually work with. Like, not like that, but give me a reason to why you uh, criticize me. Because if you just say things like, oh, this video is bad, you need to work on it. Okay, well, how do I work on it? That doesn't give me an example whatsoever. You're saying that you didn't like the video. So how can I make it? Whoa, did I just kill the fat guy? What the hell? <laughs> Normally, I just wait for it to explode, but uh, I guess that time, if I like combo it further enough, then I could just easily obliterate it. Anyways, back to the whole criticism uh, argument. I need criticism in order to, like, feel like I'm, I'm giving a purpose. Otherwise, if I just spout out the same thing over and over and over again, and just, like, 
be the same old cliched old self and um, it's just what's the point it's like okay like I guess I could do it always do it for fun and I don't have that I guess I don't have that ability yet. I try to press square when I get attacked to um, attack backwards but I guess I don't have that ability just yet uh, this hourglass fucker I gotta like kill immediately I got gold never mind I don't anymore um but yeah I, I welcome any criticism and all criticisms, just that uh, I feel like sometimes my audience and I are having a huge disconnect. And I don't get over there. I don't have. Uh, I'm not Ventus, so I don't have the uh, speed boost of man where I just full throttle in front of that. And yeah. Um, anyways, uh, I guess I go that way? Huh. I guess. Enemy spawn. Yeah, enemy spawn here. Usually when it comes to like enemy spawning, that's usually the perfect pathway because like if enemy spawns there. You're probably in the right direction uh, as to where you're supposed to be going. Well, I gotta stop. I should probably equip the the uh, abilities that I do actually own, just never use. Right, after the next area, or after this next battle, which I presume is gonna spawn. No? Okay. Good. Right, this is a good idea to uh, edit my command deck then. Yeah, because most of these are level three, so sliding dash. That's what I was looking for. Except, oh, a well, little too late for now. Uh, do I have only one cure? I only have one cure. Okay, uh, well, I got slow. And stop. I just need to level those up. I need to find another cure, which means I need to find another rule. Buy that and upgrade my cure because one cure is just not going to be good enough. I'm going to keep it for all, uh, just in case because it doesn't seem like I have any other um, abilities that I could use. Actually, no, maybe. No, that's not edge. Sliding dash. And that's probably a bit because I gotta remember. This guy's more of a physical attacker, not a magician. So, uh, oh shit, it's been 19 minutes, so I should probably. It looks like the next area is gonna uh, be a cutscene, so we'll be right back with the next episode of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Stay tuned. <laughs>